What's up guys, it's me again, Crushed Pixel. Many of you have asked me how to use an MC Edit filter. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to install and use MC Edit filters that you download from anywhere. Okay, so first of all, um, I assume that you already have an MC Edit filter that you want to use. And so yeah, first of all, what we need to do is get the MC Edit filter. And in my case, I'm going to use one from Seth Bling's MC Edit filter list, which is the random blocks MC Edit filter. And you can, of course, use any MC Edit filter. And what you're going to get is a random blocks.py um, file, or it's just a file with, uh, with the ending of .py, which means that it's a Python source code file. And once you have that file, let me just get it and the downloads um, here we have it random blocks .py. I'm just going to drag it onto my desktop and with that file um, this is the whole MC edit filter and what we need to do is install the whole thing to MC edit first so before we apply the filter we need to close the Minecraft world so um, this is just important because otherwise MC edit cannot modify this world and then we're going to open MC Edit. You're going to have it somewhere on your PC. This works for Mac and Windows and anywhere where you run MC Edit because the method is always the same. Um, first, you need to install the filter. So, where is MC Edit? Come on. Here we go. Um, let me just load the world. What you do is you go to Load World. And it's lagging a bit for me. And then we have MC Edit Filter Demonstration. And for some reason this is, yeah. Okay, um, here we are in the world. This is what MC Edit displays it like. And to install the filter, you just select any area you want and you go to Filter. And then we have some of the default filters. I already have installed some custom ones. And then there is this button you can't really see that there's a button, but it says click to open filters folder and then it opens your uh, Windows Explorer or Mac Finder. And this is the folder where everything you need to do now is drag and drop that .py file inside of it. And then you simply uh, go to select and filter again and you see the random blocks filter has been installed. So um, the name of the filter is defined in the filter itself. Um, you can't know what it's called, but uh, this time it's obvious because it's called randomblocks.py. And here we have the entry random blocks. So how to actually use the filter? Well, this is different from filter to filter. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm just going to select this gravel path here, for example, because the random blocks filter simply replaces um, a certain amount of blocks randomly and yeah so let's just say we want I think bedrock is number seven or is it number 12 I don't know and yeah we can simply have these inputs here and uh, these inputs are different from filter to filter so um, I recommend you watch um, a video on how to use that certain filter because um, usually the developers of the filters um, have some screenshots or an explanation text or video how to use their filter in specific but this is just the common way you go to filter click to open the filters folder and drag and drop your filters file inside then you refresh the filters tab and you will find your filter there then you simply apply it like this and you see I replaced some of the gravel with sand because that's exactly what the filter does I can run it again and yeah then uh, once you're done running your filters, it's very important to hit Control and Save. And it's simply going to save your changes. And then you can go back to Minecraft, open the world, and you're done. That's it. However, there's only one thing to mention. Um, if, if I modify the world now, um, before I can change anything in MC Edit again, I need to refresh the world. Like this because otherwise um, Minecraft has made changes to the world MC edit has made changes to the world and the save gets confused so 
this is all you need to know on how to use MC Edit filters. It's pretty simple. If you have a specific filter and you don't know how to use it, um, go to the download page of the filter. There should definitely be an explanation or simply Google it. So that's already about it, how to install and use MC Edit filters. This was Crush Pixel. Thanks for watching and hopefully see you in one of the next videos. Bye.